The Better Business Bureau of North Alabama is telling you to watch out for a scam that involves the popular mobile wallet called Zelle. Scammers actually pretend to be with your bank and trick you into transferring your hard-earned cash to them. News 19's Archie Snowden has the story on how and why this scam has been so successful. Okay, thank you. The money transfer app Zelle was supposed to be safer than all of the others because it's actually run by the nation's largest banks, Chase, Bank of America, and Wells Fargo. But it's fast becoming the number one tool for scammers. Suddenly my phone rang. It said it was from Wells Fargo customer service. I have that number saved in my phone, so I answered it. Huntsville resident Catherine Busey received a phone call minutes after she walked out of the bank. The person on the other end said that someone was trying to send themselves thousands of dollars from her account. She gave them the information that they needed to protect her account. I put in my own phone number, my name, that was all it took. And once I hit send, that money is sent to an outside bank account. Ann Durham received a text message from what she thought was the bank offering fraud protection. He said, well, all we need you to do is your phone number's been leaked. We need you to turn off your phone number in your Zelle. In both cases, it was an elaborate scam, one that asked you to give information to your bank account. Elizabeth Garcia with the Better Business Bureau of North Alabama says that fraudsters are using the popular banking industry money app Zelle to make millions of dollars with the scam. It's difficult to detect because the app is associated with the bank account. When the consumer authorizes that transaction through Zelle, that payment, then the scammer actually makes off with the money and then the consumer is left to rectify that with the bank and try to get their money back by making a fraud claim. Catherine Busey is a single mother with a full-time job and attending school can only hope that her money is restored very soon. Clearly, I would like my money back. There are people out there in the world who, if they were to lose this amount of money, it would be devastating for them. In Huntsville, Archie Snowden, News 19. The Better Business Bureau says that a sure way to divert the scammers is to consistently change the password on your Zelle app account and register that app using a two-factor authentication because it makes the app more difficult to access.